Columbine, Sandy Hook, Aurora, Colorado. These are just some of the places in the United States where school shootings have taken place. Here in Hudson County, is law enforcement trained properly? Are emergency medical technicians trained properly to respond in the event that a similar scenario were to take place somewhere within the county? Well, on Friday morning at the Anna L. Klein Elementary School in Guttenberg, that question was put to the test as the Hudson County Prosecutor's Office SWAT team, along with other law enforcement agencies and EMTs came together to hold a mock shooter training drill inside of the school. Cover their rear, cover their rear. Just between the Hudson County Regional SWAT team and the negotiation, we had at least 60 um, from the regional SWAT team and plus to include all the other agencies, we probably had in upwards of 80 plus people here. In addition to the prosecutor's SWAT team, the Hudson County Sheriff's Department Canine Unit, Guttenberg, North Bergen, West New York, Union City, and Weehawken Police, plus their ambulance squads, and the Jersey City Medical Center took part in the drill. We had several meetings throughout the summer planning with the SWAT team, the Hudson County Prosecutor's Office, um, Guttenberg Police Department, and other local police departments. So we've been planning this all summer, and we chose today because it was a half day. So we didn't have to worry about students in the cafeteria for lunch. Um, I was in the hallway walking towards the nurse's office because I had to tell her something about a situation. Um, and then I just saw I got shot in the arm and then I just stayed where I was at the time. I imagine it was a scary situation. I was basically in shock. That's why I stayed where I was. Friday's active shooter drill involved one gunman as well as hostage negotiations. Several actors were shot and one mock fatality took place during the two and a half hour simulation exercise. It's unfortunate the world we live in today that we have to drill like this in the 50s. They were hiding under their desks. Today we have to worry about active shooters. So we need to make sure that our staff and our students are prepared in the event of a real emergency. And I'm a big believer in drilling like it's real because we want to have the scenario as real as possible so we see the flaws on our end, as well as the police see their flaws. Like for example, the teachers need to know, they know that they shouldn't be opening the door unless a law enforcement officer is at the door, and there's a special announcement that is made. So we're also making sure that our teachers and students know the practice. God forbid we have a real event in the school, how to react. We will conduct a, a debrief, uh, which will involve every aspect of every agency, every operator, all the teams, the negotiation team, the K-9, Everyone that was involved in this scenario will gather, we'll do a debrief. Um, you know, obviously we'll talk about the good points. More importantly, uh, these debriefs are for the points, if any, that need to be improved. The only people in the school who knew Friday's drill was going to occur were the principal and some of the school's special education teachers. Um, also, the teachers knew that we were drilling. Uh, in the near future, they didn't know when. And I did send an instant alert out to the parents this morning right before it happened because there's a lot of law enforcement outside and I didn't want people to be nervous. I also did send a message out to the parents um, the beginning of the week to let them know we were doing a drill in the near future. Just people panic if they see a lot of police cars outside and I didn't want parents to be panicking that there was a true emergency. Reporting from Guttenberg for Hudson TV, I'm Jeff Hennig.